Hi, I'm tasting the 2016 vintage of the Orlandi Cantucci Pano, Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, Colline Terramane Reserva. I'm out of breath. That's a lot of words there. So this is 100% Montepulciano is the grape variety. We are in the region of Abruzzo, which is in central Italy on the eastern side uh, near the Adriatic Sea. This particular region spans from sort of more inland mountainous regions, has some hilly um, landscapes, some valley floors, and stretches all the way to the ocean. Uh, this is not to be confused with just Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, which is a DOC, and covers a much larger region and produces about 1,000 times more wine. Montepulciano d'Abruzzo Colline Terramane is a DOCG, which is the higher, it's actually the highest level of quality classification in Italy. So this is also not to be confused with uh, Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, which isn't even made from the grape of Ma Montepulciano. It's actually Sangiovese from the town of Montepulciano in Tuscany. Are you still with me? Okay, this is a family with 500 years of winemaking history. Uh, this is a Reserva, uh, on the, you can find it on the label, and what that means is it must be aged for a minimum of three years prior to release. Let's taste it. All right, look at this color. And a very deep ruby. Has a couple years of age on it, but I don't see any variation really from the center of this to the rim. Pretty, pretty um, even in its concentration and saturation. Ooh, on the nose, it's really enticing. There's kind of a black, black raspberry, lots of kind of plum, violets. There's some savory notes as well, almost like fresh chopped herbs. And I am getting a little bit of sort of like cedar and espresso on the nose as well. So let's taste it. High acid. I put it at, let's say medium, medium plus on the scale, but very fresh. My mouth is watering. The tannins are significant. Um, it's kind of not as um, intense as you might find in a grape like Nebbiolo from Piedmonte in the in the north, but my tongue is dry. I'd call this medium, maybe even medium plus in terms of body. And on the palate, a lot of what I tasted, or excuse me, what I what I picked up on the nose, that kind of raspberry, strawberry, again, those herbs. And there is almost like a chocolatey note on the finish as well, which makes sense. I do know this was aged in some barrique and tonneau barrels. So I'm, I am picking up a little bit of that oak impact in that kind of sweet spice cocoa notes that I'm picking up here on the palate. 